How's it going my dudes? Welcome back to another Calibria Crystal Gardens video. I'm sorry that I've been away for a day or two. Um, I've actually not been feeling very well lately. Uh, I do have, <laughs> believe it or not, I do have allergy issues, okay? It is not a C word. Um, I do have allergy issues. And let's move on to the content. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have been sleeping on, the, on, on this for about a few hours right now. But as of today, actually this might not be released for the US servers yet. But as of today, the 30th of April, um, there are new events. Okay, so there is one holiday check-in, two kite collector, and three at gems, <laughs> at gems for gifts. Uh, yeah, I laughed at that. Um, okay, so let's start off with the holiday check-in because there's very little to talk about for this. Log in seven days during the event to earn rewards. Okay, so day one, today, you should be able to get a mystic summon, and then a lawful summon, chaotic summon, evil summon, a skill cat, uh, LD, and finally a Legends Group. So that's pretty good. Pretty good rewards for just logging in. They are trying to encourage players to log in more. And then here they are also encouraging players to, in, in the other event, they are encouraging players to, to grind a little bit more. Uh, but let's look at the Add Gems for Gifts bit first, okay? So it starts from today. It lasts for a total of uh, 14 days, right? Yeah, 14 days. Um, it's basically a recharge equals more rewards kind of scheme okay so the first okay this, this is a bit surprising for me because the first tier is a freaking fifty dollars a 50 us dollars uh milestone so you have to hit a fifty dollars milestone for it to even get the first box which is quite weird because i think most games they tend to just uh the first the first tier is like one dollar right then the second tier is like five and then uh, 10 and then so on so on and it ends at a hundred US dollars or at most two hundred dollars but this goes all the way up to 1.2 thousand they know they know their market okay they know their market don't don't burn them for this yet because they know their market they know that people are ready and willing to go up to a thousand two hundred but for people who consider yourself dolphins you may probably only hit the first two boxes the first two milestones for this event I'm not sure okay so um this is quite steep, okay? So what you get for the first 49 US dollars milestone is two skill cats, sorry, 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 two uh, ascension cats, okay? Two ascension cats and 50 kites. we get to what a kite is in a bit. And then the $100 one is a little bit less value for money because now you only get 80 kites, right? You double the, the, the amount that you spend, you only get 80 kites. Wait, that's not true actually because you add another 50, right? Okay, yeah, I am dumb. Okay, so you add another $50 and you get 80 kites, which is good, it's an increasing amount. And then if you spend another 50 bucks, you get another 100 kites, a bunch more ascension cats, and 200 dollars, that's when you get your first skill cat. And then of course the, the kite amount increases from there. Um, but yeah, it seems like this bit is like the, the, the biggest growth ever, because like here is like 150 kites, but here it's like a sudden growth to 300 and then so on and so forth. It gets more and more. You get a lot more kites from this. Okay, so from here you can get 1,500, 1,200, 800. So let's count with me. That is 2,000, 3,005, 3,008, 3,950, 4,050, uh, 5,080. So you get 5,080 kites if you, if you can drop $1,200. 5,080. Um, and what can you do with the kites? Thanks for asking, although no one's asking. <laughs> Here, in a kite collector, okay? April Fool's Day! Happy April Fool's Day! I wonder who's the fool here. Uh, this event lasts for 15 days, by the way. 15 days. Not, it doesn't la last as long as the, the, the paying event, which, 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 wait, 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 let me check. Yeah, the paying event ends on, if I'm right, it ends on the 13th, right? It ends on the 13th, uh, but for this actual event, it ends on the, on the 14th itself. Okay, so for any player, you may receive up to 200 kites from the main stages and 200 kites from the catacombs. So as you can see at the right side of my screen right here, you can actually see claim from main stages, 3 out of 200, claim from catacombs, 1 out of 200. And on the left, currently owned 4 USD. <laughs> what? I, I, I didn't cash in on this event yet. Um, 4 USD, I think they meant 4 kites. But... Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess that's quite equivalent based on the, 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 the paying event. Uh, okay, so let's see if, if we consume two kites, what happens, okay? So I get my, I get my crystal, 
and I currently own two US dollars. Cool. Um, so the thing is, there is a limited amount of kites that you can get as a free to play player. It's, it's, it's also limited if you are paid to win player, but you just get a whole lot more. 5,000 more. 5,000, you get more than 10 times. Okay, you get like 12 times, 12.5 times the number of kites that a free to play player can get, right? Um, and here's the thing, here's the catch, okay, here's the catch. So, you look at the look at the bottom part, okay, that's the interesting part, okay? Look at the LD scroll, unlimited exchange times, unlimited, okay, unlimited. But the thing is, for a free to play player, you are only given 4,000 kites, which means that if you save up for the LD, you can only buy one of it, okay? It, it's not unlimited, it's limited, you can only buy one of it. However, if you are a pay to win player, you can easily get um, 25, okay, yeah, is it 25? No, it's like 24. You get 24 of these LD scrolls, okay? Because you get 5,080. Oh, wait, no, 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 more than that. Uh, you get 26 because of, uh, you can actually claim another 400 from here. Yeah, so you can get 26 LD scrolls if you're a pay to win player, but if you're a free to play player, I'm sorry, unfortunately, you only get to buy one of it, okay? They, they strategically put it at a 205 because April Fool's Day. Yeah, okay, so these are the, the rewards that you can get. For two kites, you can get 10,000 cat and I should not have done that. For five kites, you get 30 stamina. For 12 kites, you get two star ascension cat. For 30 kites, you get three star ascension cats. Uh, 30 kites, again, you get mystic summon. 35, you get lawful chaotic evil. 60 kites, you get void summon stone. Uh, and then you get LD. Okay, personally, for me, if you're gonna ask me which is the most worth it, I will say the light dark summon. I think that's the most value for money even though it costs a whopping 205 kites i think you should definitely get it post edit free to play over here sorry uh the following clip that you're gonna hear is me talking about something that i didn't actually check properly you actually only have one single void summon that you can buy okay so instead of void summons you can do other summon scrolls instead and you should get three of the void summon stones yeah i think the rest of the summons the rest of the cats they are quite pointless at this point um even if you're a new player to be honest the, the LDs and the Void Summons, they are the most meaningful because with the Void Summon Stones, you can actually select uh, the Net 5, that, that at least the, the, the pool of Net 5 that you can get, right? So you can actually conserve it and use it strategically. So I think the Void Summon Stones and the LDs are going to be the most valuable. Um, energy and the Crystals, no one cares really because 10,000 is really not a lot. Uh, 30 energy is also not really a lot. You're better off doing refills that way, right? Yeah. yeah. So definitely the last two. Um, so that's it for the Kite Collector event. Uh, and then you should be done with the puzzle battle by now. Okay, you should be done with this. If you are still not done or you are just a new player, well, get on with it. You still have another uh, seven more days, right? Okay, if you include today, there will be eight more days. Eight more days, it is just nice enough time for you to complete this. Okay, as you can see, I'm left with one more because I, for I've <laughs> I forgot to clear my daily quest yesterday. But regardless, I'm going to be able to do it in about a few hours time. And with that, I'll be able to complete the bot. Okay, so back on with the content that most of you have come here for. Uh, the devs did indeed contact me, okay. They did indeed contact me. And um, they are asking me if if I would like to hold a giveaway event, okay. A giveaway event with my viewers. So I said yes, but I also like to know more about what the giveaway event is going to be. Is it going to be like a... Like a sponsored event, uh, is it gonna be like a coupon code? What is it gonna be? I am not sure. Nothing is confirmed as of yet. I'm not sure when this will proceed forward. I'm not sure the details of uh, like the timeline. Okay, I'm not sure about the timeline, but I know that when they do let me know, I will be the first to tell you guys. Okay, so you guys will be kept informed of what the latest updates are gonna be. The, so the devs are already like trying to reach out to their players right now, okay? So, uh, for example, the Discord server, which was actually official, it was, which wasn't even official, it was a community-driven, uh, community-driven uh, Discord channel, right? Uh, it's now officially the, the main Discord channel for CCG, Calibria, right? CCG, Calibria, same thing. Um, and there are moderators coming into the official discord channel so if you go ahead and go into the discord channel you will be able to see a few new names and a lot of them will have like a funny title or something like that i'm not sure okay so the the current discord moderator he is going to do something about making it more obvious who the actual 
uh, Calibria devs are in the in the Discord channel. Okay, so we can look forward to that. There's going to be a lot of improvements in terms of communications because as of now, they're already hiring people outside their team, people from other countries, people who speak different other languages to to be able to talk to the players within the Discord channel itself. So that's actually going to be a very, very good way to communicate with, with the people that you need to talk to in the, in the coming future, alright? So with that said, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, if you did, like, comment and subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, I will see you in the next one.